My name is Tim Ria. We're here in San Francisco hosting a special event called Inform Health 2015 at UCSF. We have Michael Gropper, uh, who's a San Francisco native. How are you doing? I'm doing well. And so tell everybody your role here at UCSF. Sure. I'm a professor in the Department of Anesthesia and chair of the department. Uh, also practice medicine in the intensive care unit in the operating room. And you've watched the city change over and over and over and reinvent itself. Where is the city at? I'm just curious uh, today. The city's very different. It's, uh, we're sitting in a neighborhood that used to be abandoned warehouses for the most part and now is sort of a tech center, site of our new hospital and uh, one of the biotech centers of the world. Yeah, it looks like new buildings all around here and you can, just, you can feel the innovation happening. Um, so today's panel was Frontline Innovations in Informed Health. What does that mean? Well, I was asked to speak at this meeting because of some work that we're doing uh, in the intensive care unit where we're trying to integrate technology with patient care. So you're taking like data and making it more liquid in the ICU or what are you in analytics? Um, I wouldn't say analytics as much, but one of the things that's happened in the electronic health era where we're all on electronic health records is that it's sucking up about half of our time yeah. in the day people are spending on the computer and not with the patients. And so we're trying to leverage technology in two ways. One is to prevent harm, uh, infections and other harms that happen to patients in the ICU, but also improve workflow so that people can actually have more time to spend with the patients and their families. So where are we at in that innovation? You know, what we do in the intensive care unit is a little different. The patients are there. They have a much more intense staffing yeah. ratio. They have their own nurse or, or, or share a nurse with just one other patient. But as I said, that the documentation burden uh, of the electronic record has become overwhelming. At the same time, I think that we haven't really leveraged technology to help us. So in the ICU, as I said, you know, patients can be harmed by a number of things, particularly infections, uh, delirium. And so we're trying to leverage that information that actually exists in the in electronic record but is hard to find and have a simple display that at a glance, it's like a traffic light, green, yellow, red, is everything okay or not? And if not, you can quickly fix it. So the idea is to reduce the cognitive load while you're in this intense life um, um, what do we say, life-threatening situation in the ICU? I think that's part. I think it's, it's improving workflow. I mean, I think allow you to concentrate on more important things than, than how to get into the record. Also allow, we actually, you know, uh, have patients and families participate in their own care. So we let them, the patients, if they're well enough, if not their family members, tell us about the patients, about their functional status and what their wishes would be, and, and that's really something new. So where are you going to take this and how far are we along this path? So this is a large project that was funded by uh, something called the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation here in the Bay Area. Um, we're doing it in parallel with Johns Hopkins University. And so it's, it's gone live at Johns Hopkins where we're sort of refining things. And we will go live in the next few months here at UCSF. So it's very much a reality. Um, we have it completely up and running by this summer. And our plan overall, then, is to translate this across hundreds of hospitals across the country. So the innovation is starting here, and then you're going to roll it out. Yeah, absolutely. So um, what's it like being here and working at this university and, and the staff here? Well, it's a unique place. I certainly get uh, interesting offers to go elsewhere, but as a San Francisco native, um, and UCSF is the most innovative and collaborative place, I think, in the world. Um, we're also fortunate to be in an ecosystem that includes the Silicon Valley. Uh, Google, Facebook, uh, Salesforce has yeah. been a major supporter of everything that we've done here. Yeah. Hi, Mark. Thank you very much. Um, and so I think to be able to leverage those kind of intellects uh, and, and enthusiasm is something that I just couldn't replicate anywhere else. Yeah, it sounds like it's, it's also cross-disciplinary, so you can take the best of breed from cloud computing and outside areas of health and, and fuse those into innovation? I'd say, well, we, we actually call our project transdisciplinary, uh -huh. as the term that we use, and, and in a different way, and that is that, that equal partners in this are nurses, nurse practitioners, pharmacists, physical therapists, respiratory therapists, MBAs, and we have an amazing team, and we you know have really unleashed the creative energies and all those people that I've never done in the past, and I think that's why we've been so successful. Great. So uh, how do people connect up with you if they want to learn more and, and team up with what you're doing? Um, a couple different ways. We have a website, which is the Critical Care Innovations Group. It's uh, ccig.org. Um, and my uh, email is michael.gropper at ucsf.edu. Hey, Michael, thanks for your time, and uh, congratulations on pulling this all together.